Hello everyone and welcome to Jumper Man Tech, where we specialize in HVAC but do everything DIY. And today we're working on a chiller and we're going to be performing some preventive maintenance. Thank you to everyone tuning in to Jumper Man Tech. And today we're working on a multi-stack chiller. And during this preventive maintenance in this video, we're going to be pulling the condenser water strainers. There's two sides to this chiller. So we see we have two pipes here. This is our condenser water. This is one side of the system. This is the high side. And over here, we have two more pipes. And this is our chilled water. As you can see right there, chilled water. All right, so since this side is our condenser side and our strainers are for the condensers, we're gonna open up these covers so you guys get a better look of what it looks like inside here. Here we have the compressors and here's our condenser shell. So here's our condenser pipes. Here you see condenser water in, and here's the condenser water out. So down here, you see this shelf contains our strainers. Back here, we have all these compressors. They're back to back, two sides of this machine. And here are the control panels. So we're gonna be pulling the strainers out from here. It's gonna be this one right here. So let's begin by turning off the machine. Here's our control panel. And we're gonna hit the off button. All right, so the chiller is now off. And we could also turn off the power. Safety first. All right, so here's our condenser supply and return. I got the chiller off, power is off, and we can begin by closing these valves. These valves are known not to hold, so I'm gonna have to figure something up to rig out this valve just so it holds. All right, set up a hose. open the valve and now we're draining down here there's a lot of pressure in there we're gonna see what uh what we could do got a small trickle that's as about as good as i'm gonna get it this is a crazy setup <laughs> tank of refrigerant and this i know it's insane i apologize but you gotta do what you gotta do those valves don't close and i can't shut down that other chiller my next option would have to be that I would have to shut down this chiller and get to the next main valve and just shut it down, but I'm gonna go for it. Oh man, looks like it actually stopped. Just a little bit of water left in the hose. Oh, that's a miracle. Is there Teflon on this gasket? What? What happened here? Wow, fully drained. I love it. That's a beautiful thing. And right here are the strainers. Oh, that's a great idea that they did. They actually tie wrapped these so you could actually pull all of them at the same shot wow this guy did a great thing over there all right now we got all the strainers we're gonna bring this into a room where we can wash it up all right so we got a nice wire brush that we can scrape along the inside and out and at the same time, I just pressure wash it with some water. Water will do it for the most part, but to really get a good cleaning, you're gonna wanna use that wire brush. 
That is quite the difference. Definitely gonna bring on that head pressure. So everything's nice and clean and we're simply just going to start to put them back but as I put them back I will tie wrap them again because I think that was a great idea and it really helped out back and that's all done so we're gonna put this coupling in between the two grooves the gasket in between the two grooves and the coupling around it oops the plate should hold with the gasket alone just even that out and then put on our coupling all right and from here just gonna tighten down these nuts all right everything's nice and snug Everything looks even, and that's pretty much it. The condenser water strainers are now clean. And yeah, from here, check for any leaks, and just double check our work, make sure there's no leaks on this side. And that's about it. That's how you clean the strainers for a multi-stack chiller. If anybody found this video interesting or helpful, please drop a like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll catch you all next time.